press the console switch to enable the floating crop divider system. The status icon will begin flashing yellow. On the second sugarcane screen, select the floating crop divider and contour base cutter system icon to open the system setup screen. Confirm that the enable boxes are checked for the desired crop divider or both crop dividers. The arrow buttons are used to adjust the crop divider float pressure within a reference range of 1 to 100. The factory reset button in the right hand menu column can be pressed to reset the pressures to the factory default setting of 50. An initial test of floating crop divider operation can be performed before entering the field. With the crop dividers enabled, the status indicators will flash yellow, then become solid yellow when the crop dividers are being lowered. Once lowered, the indicators will flash green until the machine begins moving forward. Lower the base cutter. The crop dividers will contact the ground, then shift upward as the base cutter lowers. Raise the base cutter. As the base cutter raises, the floating crop dividers may hang up and lift up off the ground. Use the down arrow to reduce the crop divider pressure until the crop dividers begin to lower. Repeat the base cutter lower and raise cycle until the crop dividers remain in contact with the ground as the base cutter is raised. Position the harvester at the beginning of a row. Engage the harvesting functions and slowly begin moving forward. Press the crop divider down switch once to activate floating crop dividers. The crop dividers will leave the pause mode and the status icon will become solid green. Slowly move down the row and observe the contact between the crop dividers and the ground. If the crop dividers are pushing soil or vegetation, reduce the ground contact pressure by increasing crop divider pressure. If the crop dividers do not follow the ground contour when passing over a depression in the field, reduce crop divider pressure to allow the crop divider to lower more freely. This initial setup and adjustment can be performed on a previously cut row if desired. Factors such as the weight of the crop and forces exposed to the crop dividers by lifting and gathering the cane stalks may require adjustment of crop divider pressure during harvest. Additional adjustments may be required due to changes in soil condition. If soil is firm, crop divider pressures may be decreased slightly and increased if soil is soft and wet. Crop divider pressures may also be decreased if it appears the harvester tends to ride up on the cane as it enters the crop dividers and base cutter. The operator should monitor the floating crop divider pressure and resulting position to confirm correct crop divider pin location. An incorrect crop divider pin setting may prevent the crop dividers from moving through their entire range in some field conditions. Pressure values that consistently must be set to either the high or low end of the range indicates a limitation of mechanical movement. In addition, the base cutter height control system may not provide optimal base cutter control. The crop dividers must be repinned so they operate near the midpoint of their position range, promoting accurate control of the base cutter height in varying field conditions. Note that crop dividers must be recalibrated if pin settings are changed.